so now i just want to click on this submit and this should post the data into the database and also display into the home page so for that i just need to create one function inside here so let me call it something like const and just type on submit so just type on submit and let me just pass the event inside here so just type event and let me just make it something like this and we just want to pass this on submit into the form so inside here so we just need to make one form as well so just below this heading so just type form so just type form and let me just cut this one from here and you just need to paste just before this div and let me just go into the form again here on top and let me just type something like on submit so whenever we click on submit button so just type on submit so we just want to call the on submit function so for that let me just pass the event and let me just type the on submit function so just type on submit and just type the event here inside here so let me just save this one and inside this submit so we just need to use the prevent default so without using the prevent default so now if i just click on this submit so this will show some weird url like this so to prevent this one so we just need to type the e dot prevent default so just type prevent default and just save this one and if i just go here and now again just click on submit so reload this application first and if i just click on submit so this won't be showing anything inside here even if i just pass the data as well so let me just click on submit so you can see this is not showing anything in the url so once you do that so we just need to use the exeus to post the data so for that just type so before that we just need to use the async and await just like before so just type async here so just type async and we just need to use the await just before the exeus so just type await and just type exeus dot so we will be using the post so you need to make sure to import this exeus as well so just type import exeus from exeus or if it is showing automatically as auto import so you don't need to type that manually so just type the link which we have used to send the data so if i just go to the postman here and you can see so we have used this link to post the data so let me just copy this one from here and let me just paste it inside here so let me just paste it inside here and we just want to use the user information to send that so let me just type user here and once we click on submit so we just want to navigate into the home page so for that we just have to use the use navigate hook so for that let me just go here onto this just before the add user or this user and just type let navigate so let me just type navigate and we just need to use the use navigate react router dom use navigate so let me just write this one and we just need to use this navigate to just navigate into the home page so just type navigate and just type so we just want to go home so home is basically given by slash so we use the slash just for home so we just click on that and once you do that so save the application now this should work so now if i just go into this register user and just type arjun and just type the username something like demo user or I'll just give the email something like demo at the red gmail.com and now if i just click on submit so here you can see the name arjun and username demo user and email demo at the red gmail.com so which we have just added so this is how you post the data using the exeus so now let me just add another user as well so for that we just have to click on this add user and this will open this register user form and inside here so let me just give some name like john doe and you can just give the username something like john or give the email address something like john at the red gmail.com and click on submit so this should add the new user with the name john doe and you can see the username and email has been successfully added and also displayed on the home page so once you do that so we just want to work now on this cancel button so whenever i just want to click on this cancel so this should navigate us to the home page so for that let me just go to the vs code again and in this add user so if you just go at the bottom so you can see in the bottom so you can see the cancel here so now if i just change this button into link so just click on link and you need to make sure to import this link here at the top with the use navigate and just from 
react outer dome so you can just manually type that as well and let me just change this button into the link here as well and we don't need this type submit now so just clear that and instead of this so we will be writing the path so for that just type two equals and just give the path inside the code and if i just save the application and just go inside this react app again and if i just click on cancel so this should navigate us to the home component and if i just click on add user and again add some other user so something like code Arjun and just give the username something like code with Arjun and just type code with Arjun at the red gmail.com and click on submit so this should add the new user so this is how you make the routing for cancel button